today we're on our way to Campo Imperatore in I guess it is La Quila mm -hmm. and it's known as Little Tibet it's up in the mountains and there was some snow there the other day but I don't think there's snow there now it's not very far distance wise in fact it's uh, only 20 miles away from where we are right now on the road we've been driving a while but it's a 46 minute drive and if you just look at the roads we have to take to get there um, there's a lot of Caminos around here so I gotta be aware of any hikers maybe not this time of year because it's cooler but I know in the summer times at this campo there's a, a lot of the hikers gather or more bikers gather and there's, there's barbecues but I'm, I'm guessing it's gonna be pretty um, empty when we're there but it'll be nice to see this plateau known as Little Tibet So I'm using my phone for the map here because if you see the map that came with the car, it's not very helpful. <laughs> it doesn't even show these roads, so at least Google Map is helping me out. When you see these winding roads, you know you're going up the hill.
is very different here. As we get higher and higher, we're going to probably be about uh, over 5,000 feet, which isn't too bad. With this road we're on, when it's uh, snowy or wintry, they actually close this road, so it is not always accessible. We finally made it to Campo Imperatore in La Quida. Um, it was some drive up here to get here, but the view is beautiful. I honestly didn't think we were going to get here. You could just reach up and uh, touch the hills with the snow on it. But right now we're going to go see this memorial over here. It's a short little walk. Let me turn the camera around. This is a monument to Pupo Nuncio, a pastor. We're going to take a short walk over here to take a look at that. I don't know the whole history of the monument, but I understand his family was killed or died. Over there, there are some stopping places for hikers. Now, if you come here during the summer, this place will be really busy with hikers. Those two Orochini restaurants right over there. I'll put a link down below to this on Google Maps and you can see some great views and different reviews of the area there as well. This terrain is uh, quite unusual. I'm not sure if this are... It's probably old cow droppings maybe. It is an uneven territory. Probably old cow droppings. Because you see these little mounds everywhere. You think these are old cow droppings? Probably. A lot of cows in the area. Didn't see any, but see plenty of signs. So, it's still early. really does stand as a memorial to everybody that's traveled through here. died in a surprise storm that caught them off guard if I'm understanding 
this correctly. Sad. I'm surprised because I get cold pretty easy and there's cold wind coming right off the hills there. And it's about 36 degrees. It got a little colder, the sun went away, but uh, not freezing. Feel it in my hands. But uh, being from South Florida, I should be a lot colder. Someday, maybe I'll make it up there. Just not today. valleys you see where I guess the water funnels in when the spring comes and the ice melts from the mountains. But something real important, there's zero phone signal up here so if you're mapping something out put those maps in and lock it in. If not you're going to be kind of driving a little blind. That's okay, it's not many roads. So this is another stop at Campo Imperatore here and you can see it's right there the mountains beautiful white view here and I'm um, gonna get a shot of this map here so we can take a look at that let me just turn the camera around I know it would only be a short little walk or even a little drive up there, but um, the weather's starting to change a little bit, so I'm not going to take the chance to go up just to touch the ice or snow. But what a beautiful view. Gorgeous area this is. Hills, mountains, hikers, bikers, travelers, campers, and everything in between. Still some ice down here in the foothills. We miss the snow, which is actually a good thing because then we would not have been able to drive down here. So there are other camps. Pretty little lake here. We just kept driving through the plateau. Um, our maps have kind of gone out right now, but we'll get back on trail. Well, we saw this beautiful little lake up here. Um, 
a lot of fresh snow that maybe just recently melted away very picturesque um, and it doesn't take a lot of hiking skills just takes a little patience to get here and I see some other tourists are starting to show up a few people uh, just to take photographs not to go hiking and to look around and enjoy the beauty the, the part of Italy where um, I always talk about getting off the beaten path and this definitely fits that definition of off the beaten path but it is beautiful so I hope you get a chance to enjoy this Back on the road once again. <laughs> so as we're leaving for, as we're leaving the plateau, I just want to make mention if you do go to Rome, it's just under two hours outside of Rome to get here and distance wise it's not very far, it's just because you're going up and around the hills. But if you have a few extra days or a few extra hours and you want to take an excursion outside of Rome, just rent a car and come on up here. So that was our visit to Campo and Piratori in L'Aquila, Abruzzo. Um, it was a wonderful drive. It was actually a little bit of a scary drive, but it's well worth it. You don't want to come up here during the winter, so this is fall. Summer is very busy, um, but the view of the mountains with the fresh snowfall at the beginning of the season is great. So if you enjoyed this video, please give us a thumbs up, share it with your friends, follow us on Facebook and Instagram, and leave your comments down below. I'd love to hear from you. Thanks for watching.